Welcome back, Team Forever. Back again with another WWE video. WrestleMania is this Sunday. And I'm here with my cousin AC. What's up? What's up? What's up? And we're about to give you our WrestleMania 33, the ultimate thrill ride predictions. What do you think about WrestleMania card this year? I think it's long. It's long. It's long. <laughs> 13 matches. It's a match I could have deal without. 13 matches. Which match are you most looking forward to? Mm, that's a very hard question. I think it would be the Austin Aries match. Uh, I, I never thought Austin never. Aries would be on WrestleMania, to be honest. I did either. He was my favorite wrestler in TNA, and now he on WrestleMania. I'm just super proud. But it came a long way. Yeah, I got to say I'm most looking forward to Seth Rollins versus Triple H. No match. Um, I was hoping it would be a real match. It's unsanctioned. I don't really know what that means. I don't know if it's not going to be a referee. Just, they would talk about it like it's just a regular no hold bar match. A fight. Match. Well, right. well, if it's a no hold bar match, then all right. But if it's just no <laughs> pinfall, then I don't really I don't like that. But anyway, let's get started with the card because it's 13 matches. On the pre-show, first, um, the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. This is the fourth year first year Cesaro won second year the big show won third year Baron Corbin won on his WrestleMania and WWE main roster debut this year we got the big Sh well the announced participants so far are the big show again Mojo Rawley Apollo Crews Kurt Hawkins Braun Strowman Goldust, R-Truth, Primo, Epico, Curtis Axel, Bo Dallas, Jinder Mahal, Sami Zayn, Fandango, Tyler Breeze, Dolph Ziggler, Rhino, Heath Slater, Jason Jordan, Chad Gable, both members of the Usos, Mark Henry, Sin Cara, Titus O'Neil, Connor, Victor, Kalisto, both members of the Vault Villains, and some other guy named... Tyan Bing, whoever that is. That's what it says on Wikipedia. I don't know who that is. Basically, everybody that didn't have a match on WrestleMania get thrown in this battle royale. Except Samoa Joe. I don't see him in here. But he might, it might be some people. He gonna show up beside the Triple H match. It might be some people that are not announced. <laughs> but who you got for the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, the third year? I got. Or fourth. Fourth year. I got Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman. I'm going to have to go with Sami Zayn. I think it'll go come down to Braun Strowman and Sami Zayn. I think Big Show is going to get out by Braun Strowman because he always do. I think it's going to be down to Sami Zayn and Braun Strowman. And I think Sami Zayn is going to finally get the upper hand on Braun Strowman. All right, you think he's going to throw it big behind him? <laughs> I think he's going to do it. Uh, then we got a match that I'm so mad is on the pre-show. I really Me don't too. think it's fair. I'm looking forward to this match. It's not a pre-show. It's the SmackDown Women's oh, not match. Oh. <laughs> the SmackDown Women's title match. It's Alexa Bliss defending her title against every available woman woman on the roster. It's not fair. Um, they keep saying every available woman, woman, so there might be some extra people in there. But right now, it's a six-pack challenge between Naomi, the return of Naomi, Carmella with James Ellsworth, Mickey James, Natalia, and Becky Lynch. Now, there's rumors that there could be an Eva Marie, there could be a Eve Torres, a Kelly Kelly, Ooh. there could be anybody really. In this match, I'm going with the hometown hero to be the new champion, two time women's champion, Naomi. Ooh. I'm going with my girl, Alexa Bliss. To retain against okay. every available woman. Mm -hmm. And the last, the main event of the pre-show. <laughs> A match that I, don't, I think should have kicked off WrestleMania. I think this should have been the opener. But we got Neville putting his Cruiserweight Championship online against <coughs> Austin Aries. I got to say, Neville is my favorite heel in the WWE today. He has been great since he turned heel. He really has. He really has. I like his new attitude. I like him this way. I didn't like him when he was face. I liked him when he was face. I like how he reinvented himself as a heel. He turned, changed his move set. He changed his entrance. His whole attitude different. He don't do the red arrow 
unless he de definitely has to. And I like this match because it's the it's like the Red Arrow versus the 450, um, the Last Chancery versus the whatever uh, Neville's submission is called. But anyway, who you got? I got Austin Aries, new champion. New champion. I'm going with Neville. I think Neville is going to retain his Cruiserweight Championship. I think Neville is going to be a long Cruiserweight Champion. You do. You do. I think he's going to be Still a be breakout star this year. Definitely should. And now we get started with the main card. The match, I think, will open the show. The Raw Tag Team Title Match. By the way, I don't understand why the SmackDown Tag Team Title Match down the line. Why are the Usos and uh, Chad Gable, the American Alpha, inside the Battle Royal? Make no sense to me. Usos just won the titles on SmackDown, so why wouldn't the rematch happen at WrestleMania? I don't know. Anyway, nonetheless, the Raw Tag Team Champions, the club, Gallows and Anderson, or Gal Anderson, versus Sheamus and Cesaro, or Cesaro, versus Enzo and Cass. You, you don't have a nickname for that? No. <laughs> I'm going with Enzo and Cass to win their first title ever. Mm. At WrestleMania, very good choice because they didn't win in re NXT. I thought about that for a long time, actually. But oh, and this is a ladder match. It got changed to a ladder match. Ooh, ladder match. Now. And I, I thought can, about it. I can see Big Cass on the <coughs> ladder with Enzo on his shoulders, holding up both titles. I think that's how it's going to end. It might. It might. I thought about it for a long time, but I had to sign with the club. The club. All right, they did just win the titles recently. I don't think they're going to have it for that short a time. Next up, we got Dean Ambrose putting his Intercontinental Championship on the line against Baron Corbin. To be honest, I was surprised that this is on WrestleMania. You are? Normally, the Intercontinental title is get bumped to the pre-show. You, yeah, Miz, I actually usually Bar does. Miz, Bad News Baron. Yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be a real good match. Yeah, I like Baron Corbin this year. I do too. I like I always like Dean Ambrose. It's kind of weird though that Bar that Dean Ambrose. Well, he is in a title match <coughs> because Seth Rollins is facing Triple H. And yeah, Roman Reigns is facing Undertaker. Which is a, I don't understand. Dean Ambrose is facing Baron Corbin. But I think Baron Corbin. No, uh, uh, you go first. Well, I think we have a new Intercontinental Champion, Barry Corbin. I'm undecided with this one. I think I can see I Dean Ambrose winning. Yeah, I think it's about time Barry Corbin won, won, won the title. I'm saying Dean Ambrose retains. I think Dean Ambrose. Well, I don't know. If, Dean, if Barry Corbin wins, I won't be surprised, but I think Dean Ambrose will retain. Never mind. I think Baron Corbin will win. But I won't be surprised if Dean Ambrose wins. There we go. Next up, we got the mixed tag team match. John Cena and Nikki Bella versus The Miz like and Cena. Maurice. I think The Miz and Maurice is going to win. I think John Cena and Nikki Bella is going to win. And the big rumor is that John Cena is going to propose to Nikki after the match. Ooh. I don't think it's, it's such a big rumor that I feel like it's not going to happen. John Cena made it clear on the show that he don't want to get married, but it has been a while. I think it's been 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. It's been like four years. He did say that he would consider marriage, just no kids. I think it's, I think I, I predict he is going to propose at the end of this match. I really do. And I think John Cena and Nikki Bella will win. I think John Cena is going to have the STF on um, Miz and I think Nikki Bella is going to have the STF on Maurice and they're going to tap out at the <coughs> same time. A little prediction. prediction. Next up, we got, and you think the Miz and Maurice? Yeah. That promo that John Cena cut on them on SmackDown, whoo, he went off. John, well, we got the United States Championship match. Chris Jericho putting the title on line against Kevin. Oh, all right, I got some stuff to say about this one. This match, first of all, I find it funny that Kevin Owens was the uni Universal Champion for majority of last year and this year, and now at WrestleMania, he's fighting for the United States title. It's weird to me. 
Another thing is, I feel like this feud is above the United States Championship. I almost wish that it wasn't on the line. It was just these two going against each other. Hmm. I think this is going to be a great match. You know what's crazy? What? Well, I was at school, and I didn't even know Kevin Owens lost the title. To Goldberg in about 20 seconds. In about 20 seconds. I'm going with Kevin Owens to win and be the new United States champion, I think, for the third time. Or maybe maybe he didn't have it at all. I don't United know. States? I don't think he had it. He had the uh, Intercontinental title. Okay, that. I think Kevin Owens will win. That's my prediction, too, Kevin Owens. Last year, Chris Jericho beat AJ Styles, and Kevin Owens lost his debut. He lost the Intercontinental title, actually, in his debut. That's when Zack Ryder won. <coughs> Yeah. Next up, we got the Raw Women's Championship Fatal 4-Way Elimination match where Bayley puts her title on the line against Charlotte, Sasha, well, the, the boss, Sasha Banks, and Nia Jax. First, who do you think will be eliminated first? This is kind of crazy. I think Nia Jax will be eliminated first. This is kind of crazy. I think Charlotte will be eliminated first. Because Charlotte got the best record when it comes to these title matches. So I think Charlotte will be eliminated and it's going to be a shock because everybody thinks she going to win. That's my prediction to win. And my prediction to win is Nia Jax. <laughs> I think this will start the dominance because she mentioned on Raw, y'all keep hopitailing the title. Going she from did. this person to that person. When I get the title, I'm going to be dominant. I think that Nia Jax is going to win. And she going to hold the title for like a year. That's what I think. I don't, if she do win it, I don't see nobody taking it from her. That's all wrong. Well, night after even, WrestleMania. They never even knock her off her feet when they wrestle. The night after WrestleMania is always call-ups. People think Asuka will be inside the SmackDown. <coughs> every available woman on the roster. But... I think Charlotte will be out first and Nia Jax win. He think the opposite. He think Nia Jax will be eliminated first and Charlotte will win. Either way, so who do you think will have the best entrance? Bailey, Sasha Banks, Charlotte, Nia Jax. Sasha Banks. I think Bailey because she has the little wacky things, blow oh, up yeah, things. Oh, yeah, she do my, she do. Think, Ooh, that just sweet, I promise. <laughs> I think when she come out, it's going to be something special. I don't know. And the set, the ultimate thrill ride, they're supposed to have a roller coaster. I can see Bailey coming out on a roller coaster. I can see something going on like that. Next up, we got Shane McMahon versus AJ Styles. This match, I got an issue. I wish it was no holds barred. Why is it a normal match? AJ Styles mentioned it on SmackDown that it was a normal match. I thought Shane was going to change it, but... Shane is known for being crazy inside No Holds Bar, Ladders, Hell in a Cell, Street Fight. That's exactly why they did me. He got to try to kill himself. <laughs> you do it every time. Uh, I just I wish it was, but they might change it in the middle of the match. You yeah. never know. I think AJ Styles 100% need to win this match. How can you lose to Shane McMahon at WrestleMania? And then you on SmackDown. He's gonna talk about it every time. AJ Styles for the win. And he lost last year. Next up, we got the unsanctioned. Well, next up, we got uh, yeah, the unsanctioned match, which is Seth Rollins versus Triple H. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's a winner. I don't know how this match will work. At the end, if Samoa Joe got involved, I don't really see where this can go. Who's gonna help Seth Rollins? I don't. Nobody. I don't I guess. know. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I think Triple. I think Seth Rollins will be the winner, but I don't know how this match will work. Nope. I think Triple H. Triple H. I go with Seth Rollins. He go with Triple H. And Seth Rollins is my boy too. Next up, we got The Undertaker versus Roman Reigns in the It's Is My Yard. I could have went without this match. <laughs> I was or, hoping The Undertaker fought or John just Cena. A, just not Roman Reigns, yeah. I don't really like Roman Reigns. Undertaker better win this match. If he don't win this match, you might as well not come back. Say. 
I hope some people think this is gonna be Undertaker's last or something. Well, they say that every year. They do say that every year. Every year, but the year he lost, people say that was the last one. <laughs> the year he walked out with Triple H and Shawn Michaels said they people said that was the last one. I said one. that was the last one. I thought it was. I think it should have been. If any of them should have been, it should have been that one or Brock Lesnar. Right. But I uh, Undertaker. 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 Next up, we got the WWE Championship match, Bray Wyatt versus the winner of the 2017 Royal Rumble, Randy Orton. This match has been building since, I think, August, September, one of those. Wonderful. It came out that um, Randy Orton had this plan. He joined the Wyatt family. He was tag team champions with Bray Wyatt. He gave Bray Wyatt his first title, really, the tag team title. He helped him in the Royal Rumble. He won the Royal Rumble. Um, Bray Wyatt went on to the Elimination Chamber and won the championship. Randy Orton said he was not going to face Bray Wyatt. And then it all came out. He turned on them. And now they're going against each other for the WWE Championship and the main event of WrestleMania. You know what's, a, what's crazy about this? What? I thought about this and I went through a whole lot of scenarios where Luke Harper might get involved. What well, we saw on SmackDown, Luke Harper, what happened? He he lost the match to Bray Wyatt on purpose, I guess. Uh, Eric Rowan is cleared, so. You never know what's going to happen now. I'm going with, as crazy as this, I, um, I really don't know who will win. But if I had to pick one of the two, I'm going to go with <coughs> Bray Wyatt, because I think it's going to be some shenanigans. Bray Wyatt. I want Randy Orton to win. It's kind of like, but it's kind of like weird. The Royal Rumble is supposed to put these people inside the main event of WrestleMania, but it seems like they always lose. Yeah. And, um. Last year, Triple H won the Royal Rumble. He lost at WrestleMania. WrestleMania. The year Batista won, he lost at WrestleMania. The year Edge won, he lost at WrestleMania. It's like an ongoing thing. It's like a curse. Like. You win, you win, um, well, Sheamus won when he won. A couple people win, but it seems like more people lose when they win the Royal the yeah. Rumble. Um, so, yeah, I think it's going to repeat itself. I think Randy Orton is going to lose the main event of WrestleMania. And last but not least, the Universal Championship match, Brock Lesnar. Um, challenges Goldberg for the Universal Championship. We seen this match at WrestleMania 20, and Goldberg won, I think, or Brock Lesnar won. Goldberg won. I'm not sure. I thought Goldberg won. I thought Brock Lesnar won. I don't know who won. Anyway, then we seen this match at Survivor Series. Goldberg beat Brock Lesnar, and however many seconds it was. Spear. About 15. Jackhammer. One, two, three. We've seen these two go at it. And the Royal Rumble. Goldberg. Spear. Oh, the toss over the top rope. Brock Lesnar got embarrassed for the second time. Then we've seen these <coughs> two go at it at Raw. Paul Heyman distract Brock or Goldberg. F5. Goldberg took his first bump since returning to the WWE. Then we see them go at it on the go-home of Raw. Goldberg comes down to the ring. Brock Lesnar jumps out the ring. Spear. Jackhammer. He gets laid down once again. Embarrassed by Goldberg for the however many times it was. This time. Getting pretty hard to keep count, Brock. At WrestleMania, Goldberg is going against Barack Obama. Uh, Lesnar. <laughs> we can see who is the victor. How long do you think this match will be? It's hard to tell. Because my, my guess is Brock Lesnar is going to win this time. Come on, you can't keep on losing to him. I think, my, here's my scenario. I think this match, Brock Lesnar is going to win. Even though Brock Lesnar Apparently quit UFC and now he's he signed on to WWE to do a whole bunch of dates this year. I think he plans on winning that title and defending it 
like a real champion this time. I don't think he'll just show up on Raw. But I think he's going to be defending a lot more than the, what he defended three times when he was last time WWE champion. I think he's going to defend it a lot this time. Yeah, he might not have no regular matches. But he's going to defend the title. And he's going to be the Universal Champion, the main champion over Monday Night Raw. I really do think that. Because Goldberg didn't sign. We didn't hear nothing about... Even, not that Daz didn't do anything, but I do think Brock Lesnar is finally going to win. But then again, I thought Brock Lesnar was going to win that Survivor Series. I, I thought Brock Lesnar was going to throw Goldberg out the World Rumble. I, I thought too. Goldberg was going to get the upper... I mean, I thought Brock Lesnar was going to get the upper hand on the go home with Raw. Me too. I was wrong all those times. If I'm wrong at WrestleMania, I really don't care. But I just think that... Brock, if you lose, pack your bag to go home. Well, he already signed, so... They need to unsign him. Get rid of that contract. But those were our WWE WrestleMania 33, the ultimate thrill ride predictions. WrestleMania will be live on pay-per-view in the WWE Network this Sunday. Um, Special start time, 7, 6 Eastern. Uh, is it 7? Yep. Okay, and it's like a two-hour pre-show. Last year's WrestleMania was super long. This year's WrestleMania is bound to be longer, so uh, it's going to be. Make sure y'all have some snacks, have WrestleMania parties, um, and I should be back with a review of WrestleMania 33, The Ultimate Thrill Ride. Oh, and by the way, The New Day is hosting. They I find it kind of weird that The New Day were the tag team champions for so, so, so. They're the they longest reigning, longest reigning tag team champions of all time. No, not they beat everybody, and they are. Not in a Who's match. I mean, I know they host him, but they're a WWE superstar. They want to be in a match. I'm right. Like, what? But, show should be good. Um, check back up for the review. It should be up by Monday. Until next time, catch you later.